Hello everyone, welcome to Arcastro Science and today in this video I will be talking about the transit of Venus into the sign of Gemini for all 12 ascendant signs. On 2nd of May 2023, Venus has entered the sign of Gemini and this transit of Venus will be till 30th of May 2023 and then Venus will leave Gemini and it will enter the sign of Cancer. At this moment of time, Venus is in the sign of Gemini and it is in conjunction with Mars. This Mars-Venus conjunction will be till 11th of May 2023 and then Mars will also leave Gemini and it will enter the sign of Cancer and get debilitated over there. This transit of Venus in the sign of Gemini is very important and significant as of now I will say because uh, so many planetary energies are getting involved one way or the other. I will say uh, it is becoming more powerful day by day. Why? Because Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Mercury becomes the dispositor of Venus now, okay, because Venus is transiting in the sign of Gemini. So, Mercury becomes the dispositor of Venus and Mercury is retrograde in the sign of Aries in conjunction with Rahu, Jupiter and Sun. And very soon on 11th of May, after Mars leaves Gemini, it will be debilitated and Mars rules Aries where Mercury is retrograde. So basically it is becoming a very big cycle of energies and this planetary synastry will give rise to different kinds of events for every one of us in one way or the other. If I particularly focus on this transit of Venus into the sign of Gemini, even then also so many events are going to show up or come up in, in our lives particularly during this particular time during this transit of Venus into the sign of Gemini and definitely it will impact us uh, in different level. You will see that uh, for every one of us it is not going to be same. It will have different kinds of results for every one of us, correct. So I will uh, say you that um, check it from your ascendant sign and your moon sign both. First from the ascendant sign and then check it from your moon sign because I will be discussing regarding all the 12 ascendant signs and if you want a consultation from me check the links down in the description section. You can mail me through my email id or you can get in contact. Uh, um, contact with me through my Facebook or Instagram accounts. You will find the link down in the description section. And if you are new to this channel, then I will request you to tap onto the subscribe button, click onto the notification bell icon so that every time I make a new content for you, you get notified instantly. So for the Aries Ascendant people, this particular transit of Venus is happening in your third house, in the house of communication. So basically this Venus will improve your social communication. It will improve the bonding between you and the people of your daily contact. This will be also a very good transit for you and how you are connecting with your friends, with your cousins, with your younger siblings and anyone in your neighborhood. More importantly, this Venus will be in conjunction with Mars till 11th of May. So this is also a time when you may get connected uh, with someone where you may feel suppose that you want to get into some kind of relationship. Now that can be love relationship also. Then this particular transit of Venus and conjunction with Mars will help you out to build a new relationship Okay, in your life. Now most important part here is that Mercury is retrograde and Mercury rules your third house. So during this particular time, it is also possible that anyone from your past, like uh, anyone you know, from your past relationship may come up and show up in your life during this particular time or uh, you may meet an uh, old friend, okay, uh, like all of a sudden someone may uh, text you or get connected with you. It will be uh, like a reunion of your friendships, uh, okay, so this this way but uh, this particular transit of Venus is going to help you and bring up some uh, old memories in a new manner, okay. So in, you will also feel that you are getting connected with uh, people of your uh, like good peoples from your past, okay, some someone may come up, okay, and this way this particular transit of Venus is going to give you very good results. Another important part here is that Venus is your second law transiting in the third house. So, suppose if you are associated with any work where you need to travel a lot, where you need to uh, go from one place to another place or where you need to interact a lot, in that particular case, this Venus is going to give you very good results because it will improve uh, your uh, financial uh, status also in that way. Like suppose you are working in those kind of sectors, then it is going to give you very good results financially and also it will improve your name and recognition in front of the people. 
secondly uh, suppose uh, you are thinking to make some trips or uh, make some travels and short tours then this is going to be very pleasant idea for you very good idea for you because this transit of venus is going to uh, help you to make some short travel some pleasant travels it is going to give you very good results now venus happens to be at seventh lord also transiting through the third house now normally seventh lord transiting in the third house normally brings struggles in the relationship means existing relationship now that can be at the professional level also at the personal level also means you will feel that you have to put much effort in order to make things much more better in your present relationship or partnership so in that particular case you need to be a bit careful looking into the fact that mercury is retrograde so there can be some kind of possible miscommunications also so you need to be very careful regarding what you are saying or what you are communicating otherwise this transit of venus in the third house is going to give you much more better results uh, suppose if you are associated with any work related to art creativity or communication in that case also this venus is going to give you very good results so make the most out of it okay so that's it for the aries ascendant people for the taurus ascendant people this transit of venus is happening in the second house and i will say that it is not only a good transit for you but also it was a much needed transit for you and i mean it let us make us uh, make something uh, very clear here you see for the taurus people the second lord because this transit is happening in the second house your second lord becomes mercury which is transiting in the 12th house that also in the retrograde motion getting afflicted uh, under the aspect of saturn and in the presence of rahu so during this particular time due to that second lord is getting afflicted so you uh, might have been uh, feeling some kind of uh, issues or insecurities regarding your wealth or finances your family matters could um, something will be there which may worry you or you may feel anxious regarding that some health matters can be there okay but this transit of venus coming in the uh, happening or having uh, in the uh, second house is going to give you good results it is like um, so many things are going on some good thing some good results are expected due to this transit of venus happening in the second house because venus is your lagna lord and venus is a natural benefic planet also and for you it is the i will say best planet because it is the lagna lord it is the ascendant lord it has got the responsibility to give you protection to give you good results good results regarding to your personality regarding your health and it is transiting in the second house so what will happen it will try to make you financially independent it will allow you to take good decisions regarding your finances your investment and also it will improve the bonding between you and your family members any family matter or any family issues which was creating anxiety or worries for you now this transit of venus is going to give you solutions for that it will not only improve your family bonding but also it will improve the bonding between you and your partner at the relationship level because it will be aspecting your 8th house if 7th house is relationship 8th house is the actually that life in the relationship that is when we talk about like married life okay married life is basically 8th house or suppose what you are uh, performing what you are uh, performing in the form of commitment and responsibilities that is the 8th house with regards to relationship now that can be at the professional level that can be at the personal level so it will also improve your matters related to your joint asset and your fixed asset both so i will say make the most out of it for this particular transit of venus in the second house it is going to be uh, a much needed good transit for you i will say like a sigh of relief it is also a time when it you will be able to improve your health now definitely it will uh, like uh, if you want to okay like suppose uh, good food habits uh, good healthy habits this venus will give you chances to improve upon your health now you have to take this opportunity so make the most out of it for the taurus ascendant people i will say okay uh, so that's it for the taurus people now let us talk about the gemini people for the gemini ascendant people this transit of venus is happening in the first house and i will say it is again a very good transit venus is a very important planet for you although venus is your 12th lord but venus is your 5th lord also so venus becomes a very good planet for you and it is transiting in the first house normally transit of venus in the first house is considered good and since venus is a 
good planet for you transiting in the first house so it is becoming like a uh, very good time for you normally what happens when venus is transiting in the first house it improves your health it brings um, good environment in and around you you will be able to focus on your own personality also and also it will improve your bonding your relationship uh, with other people now that can be at the personal level also at the professional level also in both the cases this transit of venus is going to give you very good results this is also a time when you will be able to improve uh, your health your personality and also it will improve to take uh, help you to uh, take good decision makings this is also a time when you will be able to um, grow as a uh, like in a good manner i will say okay like a very soft loving nature will come within you and it will also improve your communication skills also now since venus is your 12th lord transiting in the first house so this is also a time when you will feel that uh, let me work on myself in solitude in isolation so at times you may feel that before i go outside talk with the other people let me work on my health my personality so this is a time when this venus is giving you opportunity to work on your own self development before you go out and reach people okay since venus is a 12th lord transiting in the first house this is also a time uh, it also indicates that you need to be uh, very punctual and disciplined regarding your health habits uh, regarding your decision making like suppose you decided something you have to go for it okay then this venus is going to give you much more better results now venus happens to be your fifth lord also transit of fifth lord on the first house is again considered very good because it brings luck wisdom creative intelligence and knowledge in the life of the person this is also a time when you will see that you will be able to learn new things like suppose uh, you are waiting for long time uh, to learn uh, new things or work on certain things or improve your creative skill set then this transit of venus is going to give you much more better results most importantly this is also a time it will improve your bonding between you and your children so you can say that this transit of venus is going to give you good results with respect to your children also okay and since venus is your fifth lord transiting in the first house looking on to your seventh house so this is also a time when you may get connected uh, with some people with respect to your love and um, romantic type relationship so this is also a time when you may bond you may can bond with uh, with someone or your existing relationship will also be much more better uh, and it will flourish improve and all the um, past issues will be resolved during this particular transit of venus in the first house so make the most out of it for the gemini ascendant people for the cancer ascendant people this transit of venus is happening in the 12th house now this transit i will say that uh, it will give you results in two ways first of all the transit of venus in the 12th house is considered good because it improves uh, your luxuries your comforts it will heal you it will allow you to rejuvenate your subconscious mind and give you proper thinking and imaginative power it will also allow you to improve your sleeping cycle so basically it is a time to rejuvenate to take some rest and work on your own health like suppose if you are going through some kind of health issues then this transit of venus in the 12th house will actually allow you to heal it will improve your health it will improve your sleeping cycle basically so in that way this transit of venus is going to give you very good results another thing it will also improve the bonding between you and your partner in a more loving and sensual way okay but venus happens to be your fourth lord and 11th lord transiting in the 12th house most importantly your 12th lord mercury is retrograde in the 10th house so during this particular time you may also feel certain matters related to your work uh, your work environment or uh, related to your gains or income may uh, make you anxious or may make you worried and insecure means related to work uh, related to your income related to your gains Uh, certain matters related to your peace of mind happiness and domestic affairs can also make you at times feel insecure okay so this is also a time when you need to be very careful regarding the health of your mother 
this is very important time you must take care of her okay um, you may feel that uh, you are getting far away from your home or you are getting too much uh, busy in your work or you are you may feel that you are getting away uh, from your home or you may feel that you are getting uh, some kind of anxiety or your peace of mind is getting hampered due to your work this kind of feelings may come within you okay because most importantly your 12th lot mercury retrograding in the 10th house and looking on to your 4th house and your 4th lot happens to be venus so it is becoming a cycle so in one way this venus is going to give you good results with respect to your um, uh, healing and health okay it will improve it but again at the same time you may feel that insecurity regarding your work and work related issues and which is actually impacting your domestic uh, peace your mental issues okay uh, specifically um, the peace of mind okay so regarding that you need to be a bit careful during this particular time okay so that's it for the cancer ascendant people try to make the most out of it for the leo ascendant people this transit of venus is happening in the 11th house and i will say this transit is going to be very good transit for you because venus is your 10th lord venus is your third lord transiting in the 11th house so basically it is like uh, you did the hard work and now you are going to uh, make the uh, most out of it and you are getting the good results out of it normally the transit of venus in the 11th house is considered very good because it is like um, see venus is the planet of desire pleasure comforts luxury at the materialistic level at the materialistic level uh, venus is the planet of desire luxury comforts conveniences and conveniences also okay it is transiting in the 11th house so basically it is a time when you may feel that your desires are getting fulfilled after so much hard work you are getting the good results out of it okay so this is a time when you may get uh, some good news related to your work uh, you may get some um, improvement in your income okay some profits some gains can be expected uh, suppose if you are uh, thinking to buy a new house or renovate your house or if you are thinking to buy a new vehicle then this particular transit of venus is a good transit for you it is a good time for you uh, you can have those things or suppose if you are thinking to uh, renovate something related to your home then also this particular transit of venus is going to give you much more better results this venus will improve your social communication specifically in your group member in your friend circle in your network circle if you are working in a project if you are working in a team then it will improve the team spirit and it will ultimately give you much more better results and success this is also a time when you may get connected with some big companies or even with superiors and authorities of your companies and your work will be recognized looking into the fact your 11th lord mercury is retrograde in the 9th house so this is also a time more you do the hard work more you put your efforts more better results are going to come in your way so you will see that it is going to be like parallel work your luck and your efforts going parallel to each other and you will see more you are focusing this uh, parallel way of luck uh, fortune and your hard work more you will see your luxuries and comforts are also coming in front of you by this transit of venus so make the most out of it that's it for the leo ascendant people for the virgo ascendant people this transit of venus is happening in the 10th house and again i will say that this transit is going to be a very good transit because venus is a very important planet for you venus is your ninth lord venus is your second lord transiting in the 10th house so this will first of all improve your working environment and your working arena looking into the fact that your 10th lord mercury is retrograde in the 8th house so suppose you if you are feeling any matter which are disturbing you or which are uh, bringing up your insecurities and fear related to your health or related to your work environment then this transit of venus in your 10th house is going to be a sigh of relief for you it is going to be like um, many things are going on but yes some good thing is there that is the transit of venus in the 10th house so first of all it will bring a good uh, nice communication between you and your coworkers between you and your um, superiors and authorities this is a time if you wanted to convey certain things to your superiors and authorities this is a time this venus will allow you to convey your words to your superiors in a uh, beautiful manner 
because uh, otherwise it would have been lead to some kind of ego battles but now these winners will try to calm down your ego and it will help you out to focus more on your work and try to improve the situation this is also a time this will make uh, your working style more creative more sophisticated and it will also beautify your work this is also going to be a very good uh, result giver with respect to your home domestic affairs and your peace of mind because you will see that now you are getting mentally much more calm and composed because your venus will look directly on your fourth house so this is also a time if you are getting time you can renovate your home you can beautify your home you can uh, make certain things much more clean clear at your uh, residence the place where you are living okay this will also improve the bonding between you and your family members specifically this is a time when you will be able to take care more of your mother okay it will improve the bonding between you and your mother and ultimately it is going to give you some divine blessing because more we take care regarding the health of our parents it is it works like a divine blessing correct so make the most out of it and i will also say that venus happens to be your second lord also second lord transiting in the 10th house it is also a very good transit i will say in that particular case also because this will improve uh, your financial status your financial goals will be much more clear during this particular time so this is also a time when you may get some good opportunities regarding your profession job or business some job or business like travels can be seen during this particular time because venus happens to be your ninth lord and yes one thing since venus is your ninth lord transiting in the 10th house so i will say that uh, before you put your belief system your thoughts or your thought process at your work life make sure that uh, you are not forcing it okay or you are not manipulating it okay it is just like that uh, you can give your ideas but it is like um, going with everyone okay making sure that everyone uh, gets the best of everything that way this particular venus transit is going to give you much more better results so make the most out of it for the libra ascendant people this transit of venus is happening in the 9th house and again i will say this transit is going to give you, give you very good results first of all venus is your lagna lord transiting in the 9th house so it is just like uh, whatever work you are doing you are getting the support of luck and fortune for you because 9th house is the house of fortune luck so it will also improve your prosperity you will see that now you are getting solutions for your work for your steps or your decision makings or any issues which are going on in your mind all of a sudden you will feel that yes now i am going to get some clarity in your life because now venus has come out of your 8th house this is a time when uh, you have to be much more focused regarding your aims and ambitions in your life this venus will give you that uh, chance to focus more on your life matters in a more positive and optimistic way if you are thinking to learn new things specifically related to philosophy or higher spiritual knowledge related to religious ideas rituals and customs or spirituality this particular transit of venus is going to give you much more better results one more thing yes what i can say is that uh, spiritual communication this is also a time when you may communicate spiritually with other people or you may get connected with spiritual communities there is a chances of i will say some good chances of religious discourses you may get to some one place to another um, visit some tam- temple or visit some religious place okay um, in a it will not only give you that uh, that happiness within your mind but also it will improve that divinity that divine power in and around you this transit of venus is going to give you very good results because uh, this will not only improve the health of your father but also it will improve the bonding between you and your father you and your guru so this is a time to follow more uh, ideas and teachings of your father and guru in your personal life okay so it is just like that uh, lagna lord venus transiting in the 9th house like that means uh, you yourself take care of your parents specifically your father and guru and elders of your family and the divinity the divine power is in and around you it is acting like a blessing for you 
this will also improve your communication between you and your daily contacts it will because it will directly look onto your third house it will improve your creative ideas your creative talent so suppose if you are thinking to start a new hobby new creative ideas new project this venus transit is going to give you very good results so make the most out of it for the libra ascendant people okay uh, so that's it for the libra people uh, people now i will talk about uh, the scorpio ascendant people for this scorpio ascendant people this transit of venus is happening in the 8th house now again this transit has to be um, taken uh, care of and yes um two ways i will give you the uh, predictions and the general predictions of the results you see in one way transit of venus in the 8th house is normally considered good because it improves the bonding and relationship between you and your partner um at the personal and professional level both but specifically at the personal level it will improve the bonding between you and your partner like suppose if you are in a relationship you if you are in a uh, married life then this transit of venus in the 8th house is like a blessing okay uh, it will uh, resolve all the issues of your uh, you and your partner okay it will bring like a good moment a good time between you and your partner at the professional level also this particular transit is going to give you much more better result like suppose uh, if you are in some kind of business partnership then also this transit of venus in the 8th house will try to resolve the problems between you and your partner and improve uh, the business in some better manner okay new opportunities will come okay now looking into the fact that venus uh rules your 12th house and venus rules your 7th house now you see your 7th lord venus is coming in the 8th house now here you need to be a bit careful uh, this is a time when you need to be careful regarding the health of your spouse or health of your partner or certain matters related to your relationship all of a sudden may come in front of you because 8th house is the house of suddenness and 7th house is partnership and relationship okay so certain matters related to your partnership or your uh, relationship may all of a sudden may come in front of you where you have to take uh, extra care regarding those things since 8th house is also the house of suddenness and it is also the house of um, uh, problems also basically delay and problems basically 8th house okay so i will say that this is a time when you need to be very careful regarding the health of your spouse most essential see uh, many a times we feel that our ego comes within us okay but i will say that uh, step out of your ego and then you will see that this venus transit is going to give you much more better results because um, more you are getting connected with your partner specifically your spouse or your partner okay more the bonding becomes strong so small matters very small matters little matters uh you take care regarding each other and you see how the good results come and 12th lord coming in the basically your 8th house here i will say that you will uh, feel that this will also improve uh, your uh, expenditures like suppose all of a sudden uh, you are feeling that some expenditures are coming some losses are coming this transit of venus will try to stop it this tra transit of venus will try to help you out will give you much more proper insights regarding how you manage your finances how you manage your family matters how you manage the bonding between you and your in-laws okay so in that way this venus transit is going to give you much more better results in a more loving caring way so that's it for the scorpio ascendant people okay for the sagittarius ascendant people the transit of venus is happening in the 7th house now this transit has to be taken care of okay normally the transit of venus in the 7th house i will say it improves the bonding between you and your partner it is just like um, any matter related to you and your partner uh, or you and your uh, relationship partner your spouse the transit of venus happening in the 7th house wonderful time okay um, good time to uh, good time to bond between you and your partner good time to collaborate good time to make good business ideas partnership ideas okay or collaboration in that way this transit of venus is going to give you good results but venus happens to be your sixth lord also transiting in the seventh house so in your present partnership in your present relationship 
certain matters are there which are not resolved yet all of a sudden those matters will come in front of you all of a sudden this venus will ask you that first resolve this then think about something else like suppose if you are running uh, a business partnership uh, at the professional level and you are thinking to collaborate with something else or start something else or uh, look out for new opportunity then this venus will say that in your present partnership in your present business ideas certain loopholes are there work on it first then go for something else so suppose if you are thinking to get into a new relationship in that particular case also this venus will say that uh, first you have to be uh, well prepared that whether you are going to take the proper responsibilities and commitment then only get into a relationship okay so that way this particular venus is going to give you good results so more you are working on the uh, resolving of the problems first resolve the problems then you will see that how it is being bringing good results between you and your partner so that's it for the sagittarius ascendant people make the most out of it for the capricorn ascendant people this transit of venus is happening in the 6th house now here i will say that venus is a very good planet for you for the capricorn ascendant people because venus rules uh, your 5th house and your 10th house now such a good planet venus is transiting in the 6th house in that way i will say that this transit is going to be a like everest transit because venus is a very good planet for you transiting in the 6th house so it, in that way it becomes everest so uh, related to your work related to your creative ideas or related to your creative talent all of a sudden you may feel some kind of struggles are coming like suppose you are learning new things or suppose you are working on your studies in that particular case also you will see that all of a sudden you are getting some kind of struggles or you are getting some kind of like uh, disturbances obstacles are coming in front of you at your work life also you will feel that all of a sudden you are getting uh, into some kind of like office politics or something like that or someone is getting uh, in front of you ahead ahead of you or coming in between your work and your mindset okay so it is more, so you may feel that you are getting disturbed by certain things okay in that particular case this transit of venus go is going to be like uh, um, uh, eye opener for you basically i will say that the things which you are feeling that everything was going good because previously venus was transiting in the fifth house so you might have felt that everything is so good because fifth house is basically the feel good factor and venus in the fifth house normally gives that feel good factor but now venus has come out of your fifth house and it has gone into the sixth house basically the house of struggles and hard work so now it is like an eye opener for you that the things which you were feeling good it may not be that good okay so you have to be very well prepared for that secondly since venus is transiting in the sixth house this is a time when you need to be very careful regarding your health also regarding the your personal health also and suppose if you are in any kind of relationship or bonding in that case also take care regarding your relationship and also the health of your spouse or health of your partner in that way also this particular transit of venus is going to be very important and crucial for you now if i personally talk about only the venus uh, transit in the 6th house in that case i will say you that uh, it will improve the overall communication between you and your coworkers or suppose if you are doing any kind of job then it will improve the bonding between you and your superiors uh, at the job level at the service level so like suppose you may feel uh, that yes you are getting uh, that um, happiness in your work you are doing the work okay you are getting um, that happiness but Uh, if i look into the lordship of venus in your chart then that um, creates the situation where you need to be very careful regarding your work regarding your uh, studies and creative intelligence okay so these are the things which you need to be very careful specifically regarding your health and the health of your spouse or the health of your partner okay so that's it for the capricorn ascendant people for the aquarius ascendant people the transit of venus is happening in the 5th house and i will say it is a very good transit for you venus is the yoga karaka planet for the aquarius people it is your fourth lord and ninth lord transiting in the fifth house so it is a wonderful time to work on your own self the things which make you happy the things which creates the feel good factor for you you can work on those things this will improve your relationship it will improve the romantic bonding between you and your partner 
now that can be uh, in your married life also or suppose if you are in any kind of relationship in that particular case also it will improve the bonding between you and your partner in a much more loving caring way this is also a time when you may get connected with some person and get in some kind of romantic bonding between you and that person okay in that way also this venus is going to give you much more better results it will improve your luck it will improve uh, your fortune your, your prosperity it is a time when you may uh, spend some good moments with your family with your friends uh, specifically the people in your domestic uh, arena uh like you may um, plan some trips you can plan some vacations it is going to give you much more better results not only that uh, if you are associated with any work related to venus like art creativity drama theater music dance painting anything architecture sculpturing okay um making something um, beautified like it can be renovation it can be interior uh, designing okay uh, anything related to that in that particular case this transit of venus is going to give you much more better results because venus will look directly onto your 11th house some travels can be seen and those travels will be good for you it will be like um, happy moments for you so you may rejuvenate yourself okay it is a time to work on your health it is a time to make yourself happy so i will say overall this transit is a wonderful transit or suppose if you are thinking that um, okay let me spend some time reading some book wonderful time means whatever you do you will feel happy that is the one line sentence okay so make the most out of it for the aquarius ascendant people that's it uh, for the pisces ascendant people this transit of venus is happening in the fourth house now normally the transit of venus in the fourth house is considered very good because it improves the domestic matters it improves the bonding between you and the people in and around your house your home specifically it will uh, it improves the health of your mother it improves the uh, bonding between you and your mother okay now looking into the fact for the pisces people venus is your eighth lord you have to be very careful regarding that and venus happens to be your third lord now third lord transiting in the uh, fourth house this normally indicates that suppose if you are planning to relocate or suppose if you are planning uh, for some kind of transfer at your work or if you are thinking to change the residence then this particular transit of venus is going to give you good results because this is indicating what this is what okay Venus is your eighth lord also transiting in the fourth house. So this means that all of a sudden certain matters may come uh, related to your home or related to the health of your mother, where you need to be more focused and more attentive. All of a sudden means the things which you might have had ignored in the past, all of a sudden it will come in front of you and you will feel, oh yes, I have to work on it. now suppose one example i'm giving you like suppose in your home certain things has to be decorated certain things has to has to be well maintained but you you were delaying it you were uh, procrastinating regarding that thing all of a sudden it will come in front of you and you have to work on it so you may feel that oh i have to waste or spend certain amount of time some money wastage can be there you may feel like that but this is needed that is what this transit of venus is indicating this also indicates that uh, there can be certain travels related to your work or you may get some uh, all of a sudden some opportunity to move to some far away place related to your work okay so in that particular case also this particular transit of venus is going to give you good results okay so make the most out of it that's it for the pisces ascendant people okay so I have discussed for all the twelve ascendant signs. Hope you have liked it. If you have liked this video, press the like button, um, share it to your near and dear ones, and uh, click on the share button and share it to your near and dear ones. And uh, if you are new to this channel, then tap onto the subscribe button, click onto the notification bell icon, so that every time I make a new video, you get notified instantly. And for any uh, consultation, if you want. Uh, check the links in the description section you can mail me through my email id or you may get connected with me through my facebook or instagram account so next time when i come back i will be coming back with some another interesting video so till then i am signing off for today thanking you bye bye